Covey. Good day, Barker. Uh, it's just it's just gone hey. live. People will be able to hear us. So yeah, everyone, we're just testing the sounds out. Uh, but we'll be going live very soon. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Stu won't be able to join us. He's in chat there, but he has got a few things to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, everybody will be live very shortly with some cotton farming. Nice. I'll just shoot a couple of days ahead, Barker. Okay, mate, yep. Welcome everyone, we are back, we're back on the farm, and I'll get a sound check with everybody out there, uh, and we're just, ooh, the weather's a little overcast, but uh, we're just about to get ready for some farming, and I'm just skipping ahead a few days just to get us all ready to do that harvest, so yeah, bear with me, and then uh, we'll get started. Waving back to you, Gaming Dad, and hey, Keefy, how you doing? Hey, Stu, and hey, a Jacket, if you're watching. So, welcome back, everyone. It's good. We're back. We're live. And We're back. Cotton farming. That's it. We're cotton farming, and I'd love to get a sound. He's good, Gaming Dad. Awesome. This might be it. We might right. be ready. We are ready. We are. We are ready. Here we go. Right. Let's see what uh, oh, we can it. get up to. Yeah, go. Let's go. Hire the oh, equipment. No. Oh, you got a new outfit. I just noticed okay. as well, Barker. Yeah, I did. I changed it last last stream, I think it was. Once we just finished, I thought I'll just mess around. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just a, a quick shout out why Barker goes and does his, uh, gets all the equipment ready. Uh, shout yourself out, Barker. Hey guys, you know who I am, Barker Gaming. I am the farm manager. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, really. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you are in man the of, chat... Man of many words. Yeah. If you're in the <laughs> chat, you can do exclamation mark Barker and it will come up with his channel. But go check him out. He's got some pretty cool stuff on there. Uh, and yeah. We're going to get started. Now, you can see uh, I didn't have much luck, uh, or someone, nah, it was me. <laughs> didn't have much luck <laughs> stacking, stacking this honey. Uh, and uh, yeah, it went all over the place. So we've got a bit of work here as well. Uh, but uh, actually, I'll probably just come, you're, you're leasing the equipment. Is it a whole, is it a, just a trailer we tow, or is it actually a whole new uh, tractor of some sort that we need to get? No, it's, it's just a trailer for picking up the um, the cotton bales. Um, yeah. You can either have it on a truck or you can have the attachment for the tractor we've got. Yeah. But it's a different harvester. We can't use the harvester we've got now, so I've All just right. had to hire a cotton harvester. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well, Barker is sorting that out. So, everyone, if you have a uh, joining for the first time on the farm, it's basically a couple of creators. We've created a farm that's running all the time, and we're just we're not using any cheats or anything. We're running it live all the time, and we're just trying to create the greatest farm ever. And someone like myself, who hasn't played too much of farming sim in the past, uh, I get to experience a lot of new, different things. Barker's played a lot. Jacket, who's on sometimes, plays. Uh, a lot as well, or in the past has played a bit, and uh, we've got Stu, who was in earlier, uh, but he had some urgent work and had to uh, jump off, unfortunately, uh, but he might be back later on in the stream, depending if he gets what he needs done, done, uh, yeah, so that's what, that's the goal, that's the goal to grow this farm to the greatest farm ever. Yep. Uh, is it ready to pick um, up, or you're um, on the way? I'm just I'm just driving it over now, but um, how long have we 
at the swarm for now? Oh, if you look at yeah, if you look at the how long it's been up, I, last time I checked, it was something like nineteen. I don't know how precise it is. It was nine. It would be nineteen thousand hours. No, it sounds a lot. Something like that. Uh, but yeah. uh, it's a lot. That's it's, it's been, been a while. It's been about what about six, seven weeks or a bit longer. Yeah, yeah, about that. About that. And if you have a look at our. Uh, we own down here, everyone, we own 37, 38, 39, 42, 41, 40. It's all cotton at the moment. You can see Barker coming along here. And uh, yeah, so exciting stuff. And we're sort of looking, this is after this harvest. We're going to, we don't know. We've, we might buy some new fields. We're not 100% sure. We've got a whole lot of sheep over here uh, as well, which I can actually flick over and show you. So let's go and have a look at the sheep. Here we go. So we've got the sheep, and you can see we've got a ton of wool to stack later. Which is cool. Now, they're probably out of food. I bet they are. Let's have a look. They probably. are out of food. Yeah, so I, is yeah. there any in the trailer? I'm just going to go load up their food. There is some grass in there. So I'm just going to go fill up their food, and then, uh, yeah, we can get started on the... the uh, yeah, cotton. I'll uh, I'll let you take charge of the harvester so you can show everybody how it works. Cool, cool. Hey, jacket. How you doing? Hello, so, jacket. Jacket. Probably he won't be on today. I think he's busy, but he will be in the chat at times. I think it's only required to trailer that you've got and the harvester. And then once you drop the bales out, I'll have to stack them until it's a, it's a nice price to sell. Yeah, yeah. No, that's it. Exactly. Uh, give me two secs. Okay, sorry everybody, I just had to jump off for a second and just do something on the other screen. Okay, let's go unload. Gabby, I've made a start of this, just let uh, me know when you want to take over. Yeah, no problems. Uh, what are we doing here? Why? Turn on loading wagon. Now, how do I unload? It's I, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Giving some food to the poor sheep who had no food for some time. Perfect. We are loaded. We might just see. This is going to be a difficult... Thanks, Jacket. All good. Thanks. 
but uh, one row does about seven percent on this field. Okay. Yep. Yeah, looking forward to uh, coming over. I'm just trying to do some really crazy reversing of this uh, tractor. <laughs> Alright, it's all good. Come around this way. Alright, let's go over there and bring... I'm bringing the other tractor over. Yep. And Gaming Dad, if you're still around, how you doing? Having a good weekend? Right, here we are. Let's go load up the trailer. Oh, you got the trailer already. Yep. Do you want me to jump out before? Yeah. It, it All right. Let me have there. a quick look. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going. At the moment, I'm just going to check it out for everyone. Here we go. So we have the cotton harvester. Yep. Nice. Very, very nice. Which leaves the steps, but just takes the cotton off the, the plant. Ah, and there, yeah, okay, cool. Oh, so g gaming dad, you're at work. You said I'm here, mate. Yeah, at work, but it's night time, so I'm so I'm on the wine. <laughs> They're at work the having some wine. <laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> what a uh, legend. Alright. Uh, yeah, jump out, Barker. I'll give it a go. Ready? Okay. There you go. Alright, let's have a look inside first of all. Nice. Very nice. They've added a little bit of detail in this FS22 compared to 19. Uh, yeah. You might see the back of the harvester, it starts to lower, then it'll come back up. It's actually compressing the baler in the back, and I'm pretty sure you didn't do that on FS19. Ooh, cool. Looks, looks cool. The cab actually looks really nice. There you go, it's just going back up now. Oh, oh so yeah, night time, so you finished working on the wine. <laughs> yeah, when you said at work on the <laughs> wine, I thought that was pretty... <laughs> uh, that's a classic. <laughs> Not drinking at work, you nutters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, each to their own, Gaming Dad, each to their own. Uh. <laughs> Some people have to drink if you're a winemaker. You've got to drink sometimes at work. That's it. That's it. And maybe when we're doing the old grapes on the farm, we might have to have a, a drink beside us as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, pesky car, out the way. Away. <laughs> I like this as well. It's got a because of the rear steering. It's got a very small turning circle. I like it. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. the only downfall is it only picks up a small amount of the time. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, that is the the downside to it. But when you are full, it's just a bit like. Um, like a normal bailer, once you fall, just tip it out the back and carry on. Yep. Then I'll come across and pick the bailer. Oh, so it bails it up. That's cool. Yeah. I was about to ask what, what happens there with the bales. I've seen it on, you know, TV and things like that, but... 
didn't know that it did it all yeah, automated. Well, That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's compressing the bale in the back of the harvester now. And when it's full, uh, I think there's like a platform on the back which will drop down ah, and yeah. it'll just tip Oops. it out. I can see the... Um, I see it moving now. Yeah, cool. That's cool. Super cool. Super cool. Uh, when's the best month to sell cotton? It's going to be very interesting what this one picks up cash-wise. If anyone's on the stream who knows, let us know if it's a lucrative crop. I know Barker's probably looking right now at when it's worth, but... Uh, February is its highest point at 4,100 per thousand litre. Um, I don't know if you get 25,000 in a bale. No. I don't know, it's going to be at least 100 odd grand per bale. Ah, I put my money on it. Cool. Holy moly! This is farming 22 BFG 77. And, uh, hey, Kiffy, how you doing? And how are you, BFG? Good to see you on the stream. And, uh, Gaming Dad says, I have 42 episodes of unedited in my bank. Just no time to do anything. And I need to chill on a night. Can't even edit with wine and me. And it just ends up horrific. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? You can sit there and you can sit there and play a series, uh, and you can record a, a, a let's say, a shit ton of uh, uh, in, uh, footage, and then you go, "When am I going to edit it?" Now, hundred percent. It's easy to record, it's easy yeah. to play, but it's not easy to edit. It's just time consuming. No. It's not hard. Yeah, so we, I found a little bit of spare time today to record a bit more dying light. Um, I did manage to get it edited as well. So yep. I think next next time I record it, should be yep. the final push. I think that's the final episode. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Looking forward to it, Barker. So, guys, if you and Torando, how are you, mate? Uh, how are you? Hope you're well. Good to see you here. And BFG says, yeah, my bad, didn't see it, yeah. Uh, Farming Simulator 2022. And uh, Toronto says, Farming Simulator 16, 2016 on a mobile phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kiffy, I did see you pop in at the start. All good, mate. Thanks for, thanks for coming in and supporting, mate. It's always good to have you here. So we're, guys, we're obviously cotton farming at the moment, and uh, it's first time on this farm, so it's a live server that runs all the time, and uh, first time that we're actually planting cotton and actually doing a harvest with cotton. So yeah, yeah, Barker and I are doing that at the moment, and we normally have up to, well, now up to four people on the stream, and uh, sort of a, a creator farm that we've created uh, to support each other and uh, obviously have fun and we're trying to create the greatest farm ever I think Barker said yep. well, a couple of months we've probably done it seven weeks or so or a couple of months it's been live for and uh, yeah, yeah we're just growing it slowly but surely um, but unfortunately today only two of us can be on Stu was on earlier just before the stream went live but he had a few things to go and uh, do so but he may be back uh, later on in the stream so, yeah, it's going to be a bit slow going because we probably could get two of these harvesters and smash it out. That's a good point. Do you want to go another one, then? Why not? We've got the money in the bank. We can smash it out. And then uh, and then that'll allow us to do all the prepping the fields and that later as well. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, I'll hire another one. Uh, 24 grand to hire. It's all, right. it's all good. We're not gonna if we got both of us running. Otherwise, it'll take forever. Because look, I'm only, I'm not even the, this field. Well, this is a sm that massive field on the right will take a hell of a lot of time. 
Yeah, okay, so what I'll do, I'll do field 37 now, then both of us can tackle the big field together. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm only 42% awesome. full as well, so there's not going to be that many uh, bales. No. And yes, uh, everyone on the stream, I'm not very good with those straight lines. Uh, that's, uh, that's Parker. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Before you mention anything. <laughs> I'm going in the cab this time. <laughs> He's the boss. Hard the driving in the cab. You, you can't judge all across yeah nah you're right 100 percent. but i just wanted a bit of a different view because i'm always on that external view i'll go, I'll go inside <laughs> well the, at least with the, the cotton you can see the you know you can you can sort of get an idea of the line of it with where with a lot of other crops yeah. you can't you can't so that's the advantage the jacket says yeah ha 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 he's the boss he does what he wants must be talking about you Barker. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, what? I can okay, still. But yeah. Got a bit stuck on the hill, but we're back. So we're only about to hit 50%. How much of the field have you done about half? Oh no, not half yet. Getting close, but not yet. Mm, so you might get one full bale before you finish. Uh yeah, I will get yep. We'll get one full bale, that's right. Nice. The jacket says spend a hundred percent of our money for us, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well he, I he, I did I did suggest it. It was my uh it was my decision. And um, Barker quickly jumped on it and said, Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do it, yeah. It was a bit boring for him to wait, so uh, he was <laughs> on to it. I'll, I'll, I'll go and take the uh, cotton harvester for a spin. <laughs> it's just I Bill, because you can't change the head ah, or something. So it's you're right, only you're right. Anyway. You're right, uh, Gaming Dad. You're 100 percent right. The title has the wrong uh, has the wrong uh, version. Farming Simulator 2020 written in there. I'll go fix that up now. I'll be back, everyone. Oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear half of that, but that's all fixed up now. Thanks for that, uh, Gaming Dad, for giving me a heads up on that. But that is all fixed, and uh, the guys who... BF, uh, BFG... Uh, <laughs> it is 22, yes, you're right. Uh, <laughs> it is wrongly uh, advertised. Typo, typo. Typo.
bruising. At least there's not as much lag. Last week when we were playing, maybe it's because there's not as many of us on, but uh, last week there was so much lag on the, the game. Yeah, uh, it was terrible last week. I yeah. even said to Jackets, because obviously the service based where me and Jackets are, um, we're on the same network provider, and we were lagging between us as well, so it was just the server in general, which yeah. was a bit faulty. Yeah, that wasn't good. So I, I had issues last night when I jumped on here just to make sure everything was ready and rocking to go for the stream. I jumped on the server and um, when I hit the menu, so obviously in the game was fine, but when I went to the menu uh, system, everything lagged. It was like you could hardly move the mouse cursor. Everything wasn't moving. It was like stuttering. Yeah. But when you were actually driving tractors yeah. and that, it was perfectly fine. So... Not sure what it was, but it seems I reset the server and eventually it came back to life. But yeah, uh, hopefully it doesn't happen too often. But it will be interesting when we have four of us on. If, uh, it'll be interesting how that all goes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, especially because three of you are from that from over from you know. I was going close to say to Stu's pretty local into UK, yeah. so yeah, that's right. So it's really only me. Uh, but, normally, it's been okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Gaming Dad, you did say that, uh, that was, you heard it was laggy, uh, but, um, yeah, nah, today's fine. Not an issue today. Welcome to the stream, everyone who's jumped on, pop into the chat, pop in and say hi, but uh, we're on the greatest farm ever, and we're just uh, farming some, harvesting some cotton, I should say. Uh, and I'm here with Barker Gaming, and we're smashing out the cotton here, and uh, yeah. So we're just, uh, our goal here, we're to serve it, it's always running, we're trying to create the greatest farm ever. We start from scratch, we're not using any mods or in terms of subsidy mods or anything, yes there is some other mods on here. Uh, but we're not utilizing many of them at the moment. Uh, but we're just trying to grow the farm. It's running all the time, and uh, some of us jump on outside of the stream, some don't, but most of us jump on to do a little bit of work. And there's three of us originally, uh, but we are getting Stu on board as well. He was on at the start of the stream, well, just before I went live. Uh, but unfortunately, Stu... And if you've watched some of my other streams, Stu's always on my flight simulator streams flying with me. Uh, and uh, he's decided to come in and give us a hand on the farm, but he had a bit of work, so he had to pop off before the stream. So hopefully he'll be back yep. today, or definitely he'll be back on another stream. Yep. And uh, just on that note, everyone, uh, I will be having a little bit of a break for the next few days after this stream. So I won't be doing my flight sim stream, unfortunately, uh, just because I need a break and uh, I will be uh, spending some time with the family and then uh, yeah we'll be back we'll be back next weekend on, either, on farming sim if, and on uh, flight sim I might even do some extra streams next week during uh, not during this coming week but the week after sorry to get a few more streams out of either both I might even do some midweek farming streams it might just be by myself but if anyone's available they can jump on and i might do a few more flight sim streams i normally do one farming one flight sim a week but uh the week coming break but the week after i will do a few more just for a, a bit of a treat nice yeah everybody needs a break now and then don't want yeah. to burn yourself out that's it, that's it. Just struggling to between content and creating content and everything, you just sort of yeah. You just you just get tired. Yeah. And you run out of time. Like yeah. like Gaming Dad just said, you can record as many it's so easy to record. But to sit back yeah. and you know, do a few hours of uh, editing, that's the that's that's time consuming. Plus it's not yeah. it's not that fun either, because playing the game and recording the game is fun, but <laughs> sitting back editing is not always <laughs> the funnest part. For no. me, anyway. No, definitely not. Alright, we're at 72%. I'm at 39. 
Oh, where are, where are, you're on the other field. Yet, so Bark so. is on the other field yeah. over there. Uh, gaming Dad, get it. Get it, Gaming Dad. I will I will open up... We've got four slots on the server, but I'm more than happy to add five or six. Uh, gaming Dad, and you can pop on and be part of the crew. Uh, I just yeah, I missed that. I miss that. Even if it's just for weekend on live streams, just yeah, jump on, give on. That's right. You just you don't have to... You might not make your own footage on it, but you can jump on our stream and have a ball with us. It'll be cool. Yep. It'll be awesome to have you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just get the vanilla game. Um, that's fine because the, one of the mods that is free, I think, on the deluxe version or something, we're not running because Stu doesn't have it. Uh, and most all the mods that we've got are free. So yeah, just can just get the vanilla. So it's 2022. Don't get the wrong one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just grab it on Steam. And I don't mind it as well, uh, Gaming Dad. You can run your own streams. Like I've said to Barker and Jacket, if they want to run their own streams or record it on the farm, it's not just Gammy Wombat streams. You guys can do streams as well. Or recordings if you really want to. Yeah. Do you know if uh, you can use VR headset in this? I think I've asked it before. Yeah, you've asked before, but I'm not too sure. Whoop, I don't, whoop, I don't have good. one. Yeah, I don't have one, but it'll be pretty cool. Yeah. The controls are the hard part, but... Um, yeah. Just looking, you know, when you're driving and things, it'll be really handy. Yeah, well, you can, like... Uh, maneuver yourself, you can like look forward, you know what I mean, you can't do any of that now, but with VR headset, you should be able to like lean forward as you're picking up a pallet to make sure your forks are going in and whatnot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, gaming dad, I'd probably max it out. You wouldn't want probably, depending on lag, it'll be interesting. Uh, but probably about six, I'd say. Otherwise, it probably will get too laggy. Uh, you'll find your new content in your library, or you can click the button below to install it now. <laughs> Another bloody purchase to hide from the wife. <laughs> uh, just like Flight Sim, you're watching the stream and you go, that's it, I'm, 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 I'm grabbing it. <laughs> How is that going, uh, Gaming Dad? Have you jumped on the old flight sim? Ah, uh, you can use uh, Vorpex VR, but it only works in the cockpit. Fair enough. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that'll be a bit of a pain, taking it on and off. <laughs> Getting close, we're close to 90%. I'm on 56. Yeah, it is, it's just time. It is just time. You're right. That's alright. Whenever you see me streaming, 
you can jump on and have a fly anytime. Or you can just uh, do some recording. Some of those uh, short little recordings you did and posted on YouTube were pretty cool. Loch Ness, that was pretty cool. Some very nice scenery around there. Wow, that's going to take a while, that big field. It won't be too bad with two others on it. Can you get a bigger header on these or not? No. No. No, oh. they come Look. standard as they are. Let's hope uh, that it pays uh, handsomely and rewarding. <laughs> Well, by the time we finish this, we've probably got more well, nearly half a trailer of honey as well. We've probably got definitely a trailer probably full of wool. So yeah, we'll go sell well, we all can that. Sell the wool the same time as the cotton anyway. So perfect. Yeah. So we'll do that. So yeah, we'll definitely be around for a while, guys. We're going to be doing all the selling. We'll skip ahead of time to the best selling time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and probably quickly plow these fields to prep them for the next harvest. I might set the worker off now, plowing. Yeah, yeah, do that. Go set the work. Go set them up. Right, I'll just get the worker and do the cotton a minute while I uh, set the worker off doing the plowing. We did learn on the last stream not to do any tree cutting on stream. <laughs> yeah. That could have been why the uh, stream was so waggy. Yeah, true. <laughs> so I think because of the physics of the trees falling and, and they tend to stutter around, that uh, that's obviously flicking through a lot of data to all of us. So that uh, most likely was why we were lagging a lot yeah. last week. We've yeah. still got a few trees to cut down. You're going to get 20,000 litres per full harvester. Jack, it says. Okay. That's the farm finance guy right there. That's it. The accountant. The accountant jacket. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, I'm full, I'm full. I didn't even notice. I am full. I am full, I am full. Dumb. I'll dump it over on the road so it's not in the way of everyone. Well, if you want to dump it, I'll go in the other tractor, though. Come pick it up Okay. Now. Yeah, that's all right. I'll just dump it over there. Because I've got, I've got the worker just continuing the harvest on the other field anyway until Perfect. I've set up, so. Uh, I think Barker's on a controller. Is that right, Barker? Yeah, I am, yeah. All right. So our first cotton harvest. Here's our first bale. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it even puts out a tray and it slides down. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, straight off yours onto mine. There we go. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> I'll just drop these here until it's time to sell. Right, let's continue. Hey, Stu! You're back, Stu! Good to see you back, mates! He's back. Now, when we were on with Stu, before it looks like Stu's back in the stream. Um, when we're on with Stu before, there does seem to be a problem with his audio, um, so he's not 100% sure what's going on there. It's not what we had originally, it's something else. So just bear that in mind. He'll probably be chatting by he can hear us, 
but he can't chat to us. So that's unfortunate, everybody. But uh, he's still Not a here. Problem. Hey, Toasty Beard, welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome, everyone. So we've got Stu in the house. We're going to wait to see where Stu pops up. Uh, but Stu, I think you're going to have a job, mate. You're going to have a job. You're going to take over the AI and uh, do the... Uh, is it the plowing? The plow? Yeah. Yeah, subsoiler. Yep. You'll be doing the subsoiler on the JCB. Yeah. All right, I'm just waiting to see where Stu pops up. Oh, look at that, busy farm, busy farm. Harvesting cotton over there with Barker, and looks like Stu's going to be... That's AI at the moment, Stu's going to be on there. There he is. Sure. Just going to run over to you, Stu, and say hi. Hey, Stu. I know you can't, you, no one's going to be able to hear you, but it's all good. Hey, Stu, jump up and down and say <laughs> hi. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> oh, good. All right, Stu, you're on the uh, subsoiler, mate. So uh, jump onto it and have fun. Toasty says, hi, Barker. Hey, Toasty. Stu, the subsoiler's got AI. Go grab it. It's the yellow JCB. It's on your left. You can jump straight in there and just take over the AI. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, Barker's doing the other field with cotton. And uh, you can jump on that one. Beautiful. Thanks, Stu. And good hey, to have you on the stream. What's... Uh, Gaming Dad says, do you get wastage on the stock or do you need to house in a special building? No, you don't get wastage, do you? No. No. Is there, is there a realism setting you can set up for that, or it just doesn't happen? Don't think it happens. Yeah, it'd be pretty hard I if it think. did. Uh, but no, you yeah. could just pretty much house it anywhere. Uh, yeah, not even rain affects it, I don't think. So you no. can pretty much just dump it anywhere. So what what we'll do is with the bales, we'll stack them up. We'll make Then we'll fast forward to the best selling season. And then, uh, yeah we will uh, go yeah. and sell it all. Yeah, I don't know what stream it was, but it was one of the previous streams where I did the potatoes and I had nowhere to store them, so I put them in the shed where we store the tractors. That's and they right. just left there for a few months until we sold them, so... Good to hear, Toasty, that you're all well. Awesome. We're playing some Fortnite, awesome I bet. Toasty. You'll be jumping onto some Fortnite soon. Or you've been playing it, one or, one or the other. So, everybody, we now have Stu on the farm for the first time. So, I'm going to throw up some fireworks for Stu. There you go, Stu. Fireworks for you. Oh. You press uh, to, to stop AI. Circle. Oh. Hey, is he on the control or PC? Hey. Oh, it's on PC. I'll wait for those fireworks. But press H. Finish. But those fireworks are for you, Stu. Thank you for joining the farm and helping us out. Stu will be on every now and then to give us a hand. So, yeah, thanks, Stu. Hopefully, we can get his mic sorted so you can all hear Stu. Yes, H. H. You're on a PC, so I'm pretty sure it is H. Press F1. F1 will come up with everything. So, uh, yeah, H. It is H. If you want, I can jump in there if you can't do it, but uh, it should be H. So Stu's mic's not working or not... Not not working, but it's not working with uh, farming sim. So he is on good old old fashioned typing. All right, uh, jump jump out, Stu, and I'll jump in there. Jump out, and I'll come over. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. 
You know why, Stu? I, I reckon what it is. Uh, did you, are you, have you made yourself um, admin Barker? Ah, uh, yeah. Is he on? Is he on the form? Yeah. We have a look. We'll have a look at the farm now. There yeah, we go. Creatures farm. So he, he couldn't. He wouldn't. Yeah. There you go. Hi AI. There you go. That's why. All right. I've done it. Yeah. Uh, all right. It's fine. You'll be able to do it now, Stu. Yourself. It just wasn't because you weren't admin. Uh, so, Jackatati says you're going to get 96,000 per full harvest. That's nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. We should have four, four full bales of them. I'm on 97% now, so this is another bale off this field. So that's two we've got already, and we haven't tackled the big field yet. Wow. It's going to bring it in. Bring in yep. the dollars. Yeah, and I'm uh, this. Uh, look, I'll probably be at I reckon fifteen percent when I finish the last section of this field. And Stu, we'll let you uh, do some harvesting too, mate. I'm not just gonna uh, leave you on the uh, the subsoiling. <laughs> I'm happy to do a bit of subsoiling so everyone can see uh, the different angles and equipment on the stream. Get new mic on Monday. All right, perfect. Perfect, Stu. Good stuff. Awesome. So if you're just joining for the stream, everybody, we're on our massive... Well, it's getting... It'll, it will be massive. Our farm... Uh, we're basically a live farming server. We stream once a week, uh, and uh, basically it's a few creators jumping on, uh, and, and Stu now uh, to basically earn the money, have a bit of chill time, yep. chat with all of you guys, and uh, yeah, show your farming sim 2022, not uh, 2020, which I wrongly put in the description today. And uh, yeah, so we're doing cotton farming today, which is going to bring in lots of dollars. And uh, then we're going to work out what we're going to spend all that money on once uh, we sell the bales. So we've got a couple of big fields. The field I'm on now, as well as the one next to me. And there's one behind our farmhouse in the distance there is another one. And Barker's over there doing the harvest of the cotton bear. You can see him there and you can see Stu there as well. Uh, who's yep. doing the subsoiling. So yeah, team effort. We don't use any, well, as I say, cheats or anything. We don't use any subsidies or anything because we just want it to be as close to realistic as possible. Uh, so, And we're not in a rush to, to have millions and millions of dollars. So it's progressive. So yeah, every stream you come exactly. on, every stream you come on, you can see what new equipment we've bought. It's not like we buy a hundred different uh, tractors or harvesters or whatever at once and we go oh look at all these it's uh you come to the stream to see what's next <laughs> yeah and i yep. haven't played you the deal on the ad yeah that's it and i haven't played too much farming sim so for me it's quite a new experience so i'm actually really enjoying it and we might have another recruit gaming dad maybe in the house Actually, he will be because he just Game paid. He just bought it. <laughs> <laughs> he will be. Uh, yes, yeah. crop prices don't, don't do vary. Don't too loud in case his wife finds out. <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you, gaming dad. So you come over here, and you go over here, and I'll eventually find it here. So you go show price. So here's your graph. So if we go to cotton, so this is all the stuff. So it's not just crops. So basically, it's not just your corn, potatoes, and cotton, etc. Uh, obviously, we know about the chickens because we do the eggs. You know about the wool because we already do the wool. But you can actually set up production chains uh, and buy factories on your farm to uh, do other things. So obviously, you've got wood, milk, wood chips, uh, silage. Uh, you can obviously sell wood from trees. Uh, yes, bread, flour, cakes. So you can actually make products with those factories. 
um, even furniture with the wood. So, and uh, a sawmill to do the planks. So, it's so much to do and we've just, it's really just the beginning for us on here. So, if we go to cotton, yeah. I'll just show you. Let's go to cotton and show you, uh, here we go. So, peak cotton is 4,000 per bale. Is that how it works? Yeah, 4,000 per bale. No. Per no, thousand per, litres. Per, per thousand litres. Yes, that's it. Uh, and you can see that's in February is the peak time. But you can see the lowest is in August. Peak is in Feb. Uh, and if you take this off, the current price is 3689 And it tells you where to sell it as well. So there's different places you can sell it. If you jumped on stream or you watched my last week's uh, stream, we sold uh, at the train station. We sold our, uh, what was it, we, canola? Because we got more or something at uh, the uh, station. Oats. I don't know, I can't remember now. Yeah. It was either oats or canola. Might have been canola. No, it was oats. No, it wasn't oats. It was uh, last week. It was canola and uh, barley. Wanted. Sure it was. Jacket will do. Let us know so, who got jacket. What was it last week? So, our uh, finance uh, guru, Jacket, who's always in the office uh, in the farmhouse. Uh, has said that we're going to make four hundred and seventy-nine thousand dollars pounds, however you want to put it. Nice. And euro, whatever, whatever it is, it's all the same. So there's actually no, um, doesn't matter which region you put yourself in as in terms of uh, dollar amount. It's always the same currency, I should say. That's the word. Doesn't matter what currency you use, it'll always be the same amount. Doesn't change because of the actual value of that currency. No. And Gaming Dad says, Hi Stu, you legend. Always play the old country music in the background. Sometimes I might. Oh, that was a bit of a bump. <laughs> All right, so this should be our last line here for this uh, one. And Bark is already on to the big farm. Big, sorry, field. Yep. You are a legend, Stu. You, you're great. You're, you, you jump on all streamers. Uh, you fly, you... Your farm, mate, you're there. Your truck, I've seen you do trucking on someone, uh, on one of the other guys' uh, streams. So, yeah, you're doing trucking. Uh, American Truck Simulator, isn't it? Is that what it's called? Or Euro Truck awesome. Simulator? I don't know which one it is. Avid Simmer. You're an avid simmer. They're American Truck Simulator. Stu is definitely an avid simmer. It's got <laughs> simula simulator in a name. Stu's there. <laughs> and there he is there. Stu's busy over there. Busy farm now, there we go, Barker, Stu, all busy on the farm. Yeah, he does. He does. Stu needs to get his YouTube channel happening and stream all that. I'm just going to turn... Is the music okay, everybody? Is it... A right or would it be beneficial having it a tad louder let me know because I can hardly hear it on my end but it might be fine oh so I get the pesky uh... oh you did one line <laughs> the pesky trees you knew it you knew it <laughs> Uh, 
Stu, do you want to have a go of the uh, cotton farming? Or harvester? You can come over and jump in if you want. Was that a hell yeah? Is that what HY short is? Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. You can jump in if you want, Stu. It's all all ready for you. He's running over. I can see him running over. All right, cool. I'll take over. Oh, uh, actually, I'm going to come back over for a second before Stu gets in there. Jump out, mate. There you go. Where is he? I can see Stu coming. Here he comes. Just going to wait and see <laughs> Stu take off in the... Uh, cotton harvester it's got to watch those uh, pesky trees there you go Stu it's all yours go for it Stu's been looking forward to the old cotton harvester <laughs> so you won't always get the worst job on the farm that's uh, Jacket's job <laughs> Barker likes to dish it out to Jacket <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn, you gotta you gotta go back to Stu and turn on the blades. Turn the music up five percent for the oldies. Alright, give me a sec. Alright, that should be up and Stu's on his way. Don't forget to unload the bales. Um, Stu, if you give me a holler in the chat, I will go get the trailer. Same with you, Barker. Uh, there is one bale on field 37 that needs picking up. Okay, do I have to pick it up with the tractor forks, or can I just scoop it up with this thing? Uh, scoop it up with that, because it'll be too heavy for the tractor forks. Oh, oh, I see. You just reverse up to it and it comes on. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, uh, well, it's like L1 and square on mine puts it in yeah. working position. I don't know what it'll be on yours. <laughs> uh, Stu, Gaming Dad set you a challenge if you have a look at the chat. I'm not going to say it because uh, you, the farmer yeah. boss might get upset. Barker might not be a happy <laughs> lad. <laughs> I'm choosing to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, Jacket's giving it to Gaming Dad. <laughs> so when you get that downloaded, uh, Gaming Dad, I will uh, give you the details for the server and you can go practice before the next stream. Yeah. Like I said, it'll be awesome. I'll and you'll, you'll have to practice. You'll have to practice this part a lot as well, reversing, because I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Stu said it's not my farm. <laughs> Stu's. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, ba Barker's harmless. He just grabs when he's Stu angry. Doesn't want, Stu doesn't want to get sucked on the first day. That's yeah. what he says. All, all you'll get is a, you'll get Barker on a tractor that'll just ram the side in the side of you. That's all you'll do. That's, that's your punishment. <laughs> From nowhere, yeah. you'll be you'll be happily there just uh, harvesting away, and uh, all of a sudden, whack in the side. So that's your punishment. <laughs> So yes, uh, Gaming Dad, you're going to have to follow the rules of Barker's Farm. Yeah. GD. You just can't join and make up your own rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, operating position. Here we go. Now, how do I turn you on? I must press that. No. And He's a Okay, make mess. But I only brought ram box. Oh, <laughs> he only brought it to ram me, so. Oh. 
Uh, okay, oh yeah, message me on. Okay, mate, message me on Twitter. Okay, I bought. I bought it to Rambo. That's fine. All right. Uh, <laughs> so we are now gonna go transport this bale of cotton. Cotton bale. Is that too loud? The music now. Can everybody just uh, give me some feedback? So I did turn it up. As long as you can hear my voice. I don't have the in-game sounds on too loud, so you probably won't hear those much anyway. Where did you store the bale? Oh, okay, over there. Unload on um, what? There we go. They're at nearly a hundred thousand dollars a piece. Some expensive bales. How, uh, everybody, give me an update on what your percentage is for a next bale. 51. 51. Stu, what are you on for your percentage of bale? 46. All right, 46. cool. I'll jump back in the subsoiler. We'll do some subsoiling and turn the AI off. Should be good to go, yep. This is the old subsoiler, ladies and gentlemen. And the JCB. This JCB is pretty cool. Uh, you can actually switch on uh, a steering mode, so all wheels steer. So, it's pretty cool. Crabbing, I think they uh, can do crabbing and stuff. It's pretty cool. JCB is okay, Stu says. JCB is okay. Yeah, it sure is, Stu. And Gaming Dad says music is good. Great. The song of the plane is A Lakeland by Roy Edwin Williams. So I just use uh, Epidemic Sound and I just throw in country in the search bar and just uh, play everything country related. Oh, he's struggling to get too tight a corner. Gammy too tight a corner. I think that's the issue with the all-wheel steering. Uh, yeah. It turns too sharply for the attack. Oh, there you go. The There's the all-wheel. There's the all-wheel steering. Everybody, see, it's on the switched on at the moment. I might actually switch that off for a second. Control Y. No, that's crabbing. No, we don't want that. Oh, you can't actually turn off all-wheel steering, can you? You should be able to. You can have just the front wheels. All right, let's try. So that, oh, there you go. Be all yeah, nah, wheel. I got it. One way, crab the other way in. Front. Yeah, yeah, nah, got it. All good. All a good. So I take uh, my son swimming on a Friday night and we drive past the JCB factory. Um, that's it cool. has a JCB fast track 
sitting on the front entrance of the building. Which yep. is pretty small. I, I keep meaning to take a photograph every time I drive past it, but yeah. It's based near to where I live. Um, that's a massive wheel trade, port centre and all that. That is where JCB is located. That's cool, well. man. That's cool. Awesome. Five miles away from where I live. Actually, when I was... Uh, I had a work function and... Uh, during the week and it was at a it was at a winery <laughs> speaking of wine <laughs> gaming dad and uh yeah i was looking around i'm going where are their harvesters where are they? obviously in over here a lot of people use hand picking but uh it just it made me think about farming sim and going we've got to get the grapes happening we've got to get the grapes happening <laughs> and get some of those crazy tractors Ooh. that uh, you can get for the uh for doing the harvesting of grapes yeah I'm guessing the grapes are going to be similar to um, sugar canes. Yeah. Sugar canes on farming simulator. If you you only sprout them once, and they'll grow time after time, rather than uh, sowing, harvesting, uh, subsoiling, cultivating, sowing again. You know what I mean? Yeah. You sow it once, and it'll just grow continuously. And yep. I'm assuming that will be the same for grapes. So once you've got your grape vines in, the grapes should just continuously come back year after year. Yeah, that's going to be cool. So we'll have to like make sure we specifically make a a nice spot for the grapes, and uh, because yeah. if they're going to stay there permanently, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, wine farm. I should imagine you will. It's going to be cool when we get that happening. And that wouldn't just take a year to grow. That's going to take a long time to grow, I'm guessing, as well. Yeah. Once they're grown, obviously, yeah, they'll keep coming. But to initially get the growth of the vines, um, hopefully they simulate that a little... Busy on the farm, Parker and Stu. Hello. <laughs> Everyone, Stu's mic is not working, so he can't chat. But he'll occasionally put a chat in the stream chat or in a game chat. But he's joined the farm for the first time. He's in the other cotton farmer farming uh, harvester sorry and I've been I'm doing the old uh, I'm doing jackets job at the moment <laughs> I can imagine his face now <laughs> <laughs> I was told to say that jackets just relax <laughs> <laughs> If you're on the stream now, welcome everyone who is on the stream. We're on a Farming Sim 2022. We're on our live server that we stream from every week. Uh, and uh, yeah, pretty much. We are just uh, finishing off. I'm cultivating or subsoiling our... Just after we harvested the cotton on this field. But on the other field over there, we have uh, Barker getting a wrist ready... Uh, the, Rid of the rest of the cotton <laughs> and stew as well. So there's two. Yeah, got it. My words are just not not happening. Stew is uh, and Barker are both cotton harvesting. Uh, our last field. So we've just uh, harvested three fields. We'll probably have about four bales, maybe five, and that uh, is going to give us a, a very very handsome reward. Yeah. And uh, then we're going to see what we're going to do because. Uh, with all that money we're going to have. We don't know. And we don't know what's next to harvest. So we'll find that out very shortly. We're going to speed ahead to sell it so we get the best prices. Uh, and we'll... Uh, but uh, obviously we've still got to continue 
Ooh, leasing costs is uh, not too... Oh, that's too bad. So we're nearly finished. Yeah. So we're not using any, the we're not using the subsidy model or anything. So we're pretty much trying it as realism as possible. Uh, in terms of the growth and so forth, other than we speed ahead to harvest season, so, so we can make sure that there's something fun to do on a stream. Stu's on seventy-two percent. So I'm on eighty-six. Seventy-two it is. So two. And we've got enough in the middle. Oh, yeah, Stu's got a whole section over there as well. Not done. Okay. Yeah, you're definitely going to have another two. That's brilliant. So, yeah, that's us on the creator farm. And it looks like we've got another recruit. So, a gaming dad uh, has hit the purchase button and may be joining on a farm near all of you. It should be this farm. Nice. So we could have five of us on a stream, which would be the most on our farm yet. <laughs> Gave me Dodd's comment. Yeah, Gaming Dad loves his wine. Yes, we will. That's that's something that we might do, Stu. Uh, after we do this, we might find another field to uh, purchase. So, yeah. Yeah. Watch this space. It could happen in this stream. We're going to decide once we sell everything. So we've got a lot of honey. Uh, and uh, I might actually let you guys stack the honey. I don't know how you are on the old forklift, Stu. But uh, it takes me <laughs> an hour to stack a trailer. So you and uh, Barker might need to do this stacking. Juice is not good. <laughs> As you can see from the... The farming uh, manager will do it. The farm, farming manager. Uh, as you can see over there, I had it all... Actually, it was stacked all nicely, the, uh, uh, the honey. I had it... I, I was doing really well off stream before we started and then something happened the forks got stuck or something and they went flying in the air so that was pretty funny <laughs> did you use the jcb for that or the i used the jcb yeah uh yeah. no uh, uh not the J yeah no not is it is that red tractor a jcb as well no that's the mccormick i yeah. mean the little jcb no i didn't use that no good steer no I'm on 98. Nice. 99. Right. Yeah, Kiffy, I've seen a, cu a couple of videos on that. Yeah, it's it's interesting, the good old lawnmower simulator. Yeah, a lot of them are Good like road. that. Uh, and shoes on 82%. Awesome. All right, I'm going to jump out and go get the trailer to go pick up the cotton. Uh, but what did you think? What did you think of it? Like, it's something that you can play, I suppose, to... I don't know. Does it have multiplayer? Kiffy? Because that would be pretty funny if there's like three or four or five people on a stream mowing lawns. That, I think that you could have a lot of fun with that.
Another cotton bale. If he says that's pretty cool, I guess. As for multiplayer, I don't know. Didn't get that far. You can start up a company and get contracts and cut people's grasses. Yeah, so another another typical simulator game. But it does look looks like fun. Definitely, definitely something to grab on Game Pass and check it out. Ninety. Okay, shoe. Good. Good timing. Gaming Dad says, "Okay, guys, love your loads, but I need to hit the sack for work tomorrow. If you can get me a job close to the sheep for my first game, I would would appreciate it." <laughs> <laughs> I just think they look cute. Are you sure it's just the cuteness uh, there, uh, Gaming Dad? <laughs> There's not other reasons you want to be close to the uh, sheep. They can keep you quite warm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. We can definitely give you that field to harvest. That's uh, not a problem. Or plough, one or the other. Yeah. Or you can go around cutting the grass to feed the sheep. Yep, you can cut the grass and you can feed them. You can, you can load the bales. You can uh, do all of that. Yeah. <laughs> Sheep management. Gaming <laughs> <dad>. <laughs> all right. All Animal right. husbandry. That's what you are, gaming dad. That's your job title. Animal. That's husband, it. Husbandry. That's it. You can uh, be. The animal, well, I was going to say animal lover, but that's probably not right. Hey, gaming dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you do love animals. Fair enough. All right, let me go and uh, get this last bit the AI forgot to do, and then I'll go pick up Stu's bale. And then I'll set this on the next field. At least there hasn't picked up any stones as showing, so that's good. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, uh, Stu, you can drop your load and I'll uh, come and pick it up. stopped. I think he might be doing it now. Yeah. Coming over. Plough the sheep. Animal lover. Boys, you just scared me for life. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thought you'd like that. Well, <laughs> Gamey See, Dad. See you, Gamey Dad. When you're on that wine, you never know what'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Good timing, Stu. I love how this uh, harvester unloads the wool. Sorry, wools. The cotton. <laughs> Alright, let's go pick you up. Why, isn't it? It's alright, I've just got to... Shoot, it's all good. I've just got to... 
work out how to do this again. B. Should memorize these. That should be good now. Should. There we go. Nice. Ah, not unload. <laughs> what the hell's happening? Now it's not loading. <laughs> Here we go. Alrighty, we have our cotton loaded. So what happens if you don't have a full bale? Is the bale obviously just smaller when you unload it? I'm guessing. I'm guessing. No, it's just, it's the same size for obviously you just don't get much for it. Ah, what I might okay. do is drive it straight there and sell it now, these half bales. We'll leave what? the full ones until it's at the highest price. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can just stack them. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Because I'm on 33% now and I'll probably go another bit rogue and half. Yeah. Stu's only got a little bit, so we're going to have two. Yeah, he won't have much at all. No. Um, I think the work has crashed. Let me have a look. I'll go over. I'll unload this and have a look. Yeah. Yeah. It sure has. I'll just... Uh, what I'll do is... If I... Do this line... Oh, I can't see nothing. Yeah, hit the tree. Actually, that was really good. The um, all-wheel steering helped to get out of that little pickle. That's good. But it looks like the uh, AI likes to run this in four-wheel steering. It's probably why it's screwing up all the time. Yeah. Alright, because of these trees, I'll just take over this section. Oh good, Kiffy, go close the shop. Have a good uh, night, afternoon, and uh, I'll see you around next time. But thanks for jumping on, I appreciate it. On your busy day. And uh, yeah, we'll yeah, have a super stream. You, we'll finish this super stream. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. See what we get for all our cotton. See you, mate. Thank you. Yep, have a good one, Kiffy. See you, mate. And how are we holding up over there, Stu? You must be nearly done there as well. Ooh, this JCB needs uh, a maintenance a mechanic to work it over. Oh, it's a bit lucky. Stu, if you're finished uh, ploughing, send, uh, unload, unload your bale wherever you are. Sorry, ploughing, harvesting, unload your bale wherever you are. Yeah, when it's fit, when you're finished, and then uh, quickly give the uh, the harvester back because it's been leased. 
save some dollars. Yeah. Well, when we lost a little bit, I'm on 47%. Nice. So I'm just cutting this section off because the AI gets hit, hits the trees all the time. Does the AI take into account that I've harvested a little, uh, subsoiled a little bit, or does it just copy the field? No, it should, it should register. They should know it's been done, so they'll stop. Cool. Just before. They did say the AI was 10 times better than an FS-19, but they're still dopey. Of course, yeah. So, this big field's done. Nice. I will unload my bed. Then I might go start loading, attempting to load. You can go load one of the all done, Stu. Awesome. I'll unload your bale and uh, bring or send that uh, har uh, harvester back to from being leased. And uh, then, if you want, you can you and Barker can go start loading the honey and the. Uh, Wool, one or one or the other. Yep. We've got two loaders, so you should be able to, you should be fine doing that. that back like that and then do you want me to drop the bail stew uh sorry I was just talking to Stu, oh. um, his beeps had got out the officer, so I'll go drop this bail here. Yeah. So I'm just doing this uh, ah. subsoiling myself to save some money on an AI while you guys are busy. Oh, you've dropped the bail. Oh, okay. Showing us 0%. Have you dropped the bail, Stu? Alright, okay. Uh, I'll go send you back then. <laughs> you can go load the honey. Oh! <laughs> so that there should be a tractor there ready to go. Uh, shoot, you can go load the honey onto the uh, low rider uh, trailer. Send that arch to the back. Just 
Fuck. Fuck. And then... Probably need to feed the chickens as well, I'm guessing. We've got to make sure from now on that uh, before we skip ahead time that all the animals have food. Yeah. Because uh, I think what we did this time, we skipped ahead a bit and it, they didn't have any food. So we missed out on a whole lot of bales. Yeah, very true, very true. You can jump on the honey loading, Stu. So right there, there's a whole a ton of honey and there's a trailer right next to the bees. You can uh, load all that honey onto the low uh, rider trailer. And then when that's yep. all loaded, we're gonna skip ahead of time and we can all uh, go and bring the honey, then the wool, then the cotton. Uh, two seconds, Stu, you can have this tractor off me to load the honey. I'll just drop this bale here with the others. Then yeah, and you can have this tractor off me. There goes the jerk. And uh, it's these pallets you made onto this trailer. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple here which are all over the place, which I'm assuming there's gummies. <laughs> 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 uh, they're the ones that got airborne, they, they went flying. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. Especially on a stream. <laughs> uh. right, so I shall load these more. Alright, so if you're just joining us, we are on uh, basically a creator farm that has a few content creators plus a few others like Stu who are joining for the fun of being on the farm and we're trying to create the greatest farm ever from scratch with no money help through a subsidy mods or anything. Uh, and we just do it on a weekly stream and today we just finished harvesting three fields of uh, cop uh, cop three fields of cotton and uh, then uh, we're just cleaning up, basically. And uh, we've got to go and yep. sell the cotton. Stu and Barker are on, and they're both now loading trailers. One will be doing loading trailers with wool, because we've got a whole lot of sheep that are pumping out the wool, and bees, and so loading uh, the honey as well. I'll go show you all that in a moment. Uh, actually, I might do that now. I'll throw the AI on here, and I'll go show you all of that now. We'll see how Stu holds up with the old uh, loader. Oh. <laughs> and here's all our cotton. No pressure, Stu. No pressure. <laughs> Let's jump on top of our bales of cotton. Let's go, Stu. So here's Stu loading up the honey. But I hope everyone is well and having a super weekend. Please smash the like button. And if you want more, I do other streams as well. Flying's the other major one that I do. Uh, but trying to think of something else to do, but I'm not sure yet. 
And uh, yeah, so jump on, uh, hit that like, and subscribe for more. And I do a lot of other recorded uh, game playthroughs and so forth, mainly with construction games or simulators or uh, productivity management sort of simulators, uh, but uh, and survival. Some survival games. Currently, Planet Crafter. Good job, Stu. All right, he's loading up that one. And let's go just check how the feed is with the chickens. So the chickens are out of feed. Uh, so you can also load on that low uh, rider trailer stew. There's nearly a full pallet of eggs, but you may as well load that on there as well. And uh, yeah, so we've got to go and do all the uh, subsoiling for these fields. Which we're doing at the moment with an AI. And I'm going to go check out Barker getting the wool. See how much wool we've got. But look at that. Stunning day on the farm. Look at that for a view. Balloons over the castle. It's a very pretty game. Very, very nice. Yeah, we do. We're going to have a full trailer of wool, aren't we, pretty much? Yeah. And the sheep have plenty of food, which is great as well. And we've probably got excess. We probably need to sell some sheep as well. Are they on 65? Yep, we are on 65. Yeah, so we can sell some sheep as well. And we've still got enough. How much have we got? Oh, it's empty. All right, we're out of grass, so we're going to have to do some mowing as well. Oh, we're going to real. I think we're going to have yeah. to pick up a third tractor uh, with the money we make. We definitely need it. Yeah, we definitely need it. What is the AI doing? What are you doing? Ah, no, stop it. No, no, don't push it off. So, we have room for just two more pallets of wool, which I'm assuming we will get once we pass forward in time. The full trailer. When is. So, do you want to work out which is first? Uh, is which is first, the wool, cotton, or the uh, honey? Well, the cotton and the wool will go at the same time. And honey. Where is it? Where are you? But it is February as well. Oh, beautiful. They are all the same month. All right, well, I'll go skip some time then, I guess, because... Oh, you... I suppose while I'm doing this uh, field, I may as well finish this field because I'm nearly done. Why don't you... Um, Maybe get some grass or go feed the chickens. Oh, you need a tractor for that. <laughs> I can buy a scoop for this. And we can use the little New Holland, I thought it was JCB, the New Holland skid steer as well. They're, oh, really? Feeding chickens. Yeah, so uh, two seconds. Stu's busy doing that, I shall buy a scoop for this. Yep. Because I'm going to probably have to repair, do a mechanic run on this tractor before I subsoil plough the uh, big field. So, 
and the AI can do the big field. It's a tough one, that one. What have we got to feed? Uh, oh, do we have anything? Good question. Yeah, wheat. We have 8,000 litres of wheat, so yeah, plenty. There's a little mini. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute having that little tractor going. You can hardly see it through the cotton. <laughs> Do you fill it? I suppose you can fill it up as much as you can. Obviously, when you strap it down, yeah. it's not going to fall off. So. Oh, if you mean how full are the pallets? If there's half a pallet there, just throw it on there. Throw everything you can on there. Yep. Because then during the week it all fills up between streams. And then we can sell it on the next stream. Bonus cash. I don't mind if you speed it's head on time now, if you want. Um, I'm nearly done this field, but I'll just continue. Well, you can skip forward anyway, because we can't really sow anything until March, so... You can fast forward the time, the days till February. Sell everything. Yeah. And we can just go on the big field after. Did we, did we, did we? Let me just have a quick look. Uh, did we put it down? Yeah, it's down to one day. Good. Uh, I wish I knew my shortcut key to go ahead of time. But I'm running over to do it. Yeah, okay. All right. So, Stu, you'll just see it pop up and say skip ahead of time. Just uh, skip ahead of time. Uh, just say yes. But then continue loading uh, after I do a few sleeps. Sorry, what was the date you said, uh, Barker? Fe February. February.
But let me just check it before you skip. Yep. Cotton. It's still at 3 6. So, yep, skip. I'll check it each month to see what the highest is. Three nine now. I know three seven just changed. There's a thing. So yeah, so fe it's still February. It looks like from here till Jan it stays about the same. Yeah. Check it again. Three seven. So it's three seven now, yeah. All right, we'll uh, one, 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 one more month. Else. We are on. One more. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. We'll obviously have to go drop this off. So what this is going to be? Or oh, it's all together. You said, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Four, it's four so exactly. Yep, that was it. That's how you still go. Oh, so there's a bit of a now. glitch going on with the uh, with the winter. Oh, that's not good. It's like flickering. Not good at all. That's terrible. I can't I can see that everywhere is still white, but. It's not flickering. Yeah, mine's flickering on mine. Terrible. Mm. Don't think I can change anything. That's alright, I can... If we can quickly go drop this off, we'll skip ahead a month where the snow's not there. It looks like it's the snow. Don't know if I can turn that off. Uh, I might be able to turn it off. Let me have a quick look. Dirt, weeds, crop snow. There you go. Snow falls on the ground. Oh no, that's not, I don't think that's it. Let's have a look. No. Hmm. That's alright. Alright, so... We can only sell one at a time, these bales, can't we? Yeah. Unless you want to hire a truck and sell two at a time. That's alright. No, no, I'll start bringing it up there. You go. Oh, that snow's flickering is annoying. Alright, I'm just gonna... You guys can go sell those those trailer loads of wool and uh, honey. Yeah. We'll have to... Uh, we might have to hire another tractor so we can pull it. I'm just doing this last... I've only got one line, then this is free, this tractor. That's interesting. When you're in the cab of the truck, it doesn't flicker, the tractor. But when you're looking external view, it does flicker. Interesting. Oh, it's a bug, Stu. Yeah, it definitely looks like a bug. That's all right. We'll... Uh sell all this off then we'll skip ahead where there's no snow and we'll work out what we're going to do next
Right, so we've got two more pallets. So I've got a full trailer and two more pallets of wool. And then I'll try and squeeze them on the very top. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Well, I've nearly finished this field. So that's at least two fields that have been ready to plant. You know how the other day Barker were talking about uh, releasing, this is nothing to do with farming everyone, but we we're talking about releasing uh, new games on YouTube and how it's hard to get viewers because you're obviously competing with a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely happening with my uh, Planet Crafter series. So that's a quite yeah. a new one. And it's just too much competition. But it is what it is. You, just, you feel a bit under pressure, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So like you want to produce the content on the game, but it's like nobody's watching because other people are doing it, and it's it's just stressful. Keep flip out tractor. What's that? Keep flip uh, out tractor. Peter, who's Peter? <laughs> You can just stew, you can just go, if you're finished loading, oh yeah, yeah, if you're finished loading, you can go bring that to sell. Uh, <laughs> no, he hasn't support. Tell you what, I'll get in the new island, I'll come load this. If you want, go over to the sheeps. Uh, sheeps? My lady will kill me for saying that. <laughs> go over to the sheep <laughs> to sell the wool. But take that tractor with you, the one you're in. Oh, I know what you mean. It's actually flipping... Now I understand. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit awkward on there, isn't it? So I'll come over with the new wall and you know, I'll do it, get it done before you come back. Oh, I didn't do this one right now. So yeah, Stu, over here, where the sheep are, there's a trailer full of wool that needs solid. If you don't mind. And there's Stu, everybody. It's flicking across. Oh, look at them. <laughs> the little mini, little mini, and the, and the big tractor. <laughs> Let me just get to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you got the disco lights with the flickering uh, trees going as well. There you go. <laughs> uh, there's one little pesky line just down here I'm just trying to make sure we get that so we can get a full plant happening on this field we'll see how much you get uh, on that uh, load of wool it should be pretty good And then I'm going to go service this tractor because it needs it. Then I'll run up and sell the honey. Make sure loaded in. Yeah, it might be a little while while trying to stack it all, but that's all right. Probably as quick as possible. Oh, how do I go? Uh, uh, you, we want to repair nine thousand. That's not too bad. I wish you could put, um, can you put logos? Is there a mod to put logos on, on tractors and stuff? No, I've tried looking myself. That'd be cool. Yeah, it'd be nice to have mine. 
Probably because it's a they're branded. They've obviously got deals with the manufacturers and they probably go, no, no, no one's going to put their brand on my tractor. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you haven't seen it, Stu? Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. It'd be nice. Everyone can have their name. Everyone can grab... When we've got the cash, everyone can buy their own tractor and they could have modified it the way they wanted. Put their channels or their whatever logos they wanted on it would have been cool yeah uh the wool you sell at oh the wool the wool the wool is spinnery the spinnery uh which is i'm looking i'm looking Question, where is oh that must be it there. No, grain line. Spinnery, there it, it is. is. It's not far from us oh. at all. It's the Le Filtura de Court Spinnery. It's pretty much straight above. If you look in the map, it's straight above our farm. Hey Brummy Gamer, how are you? Yeah, thanks for dropping in and showing your support, and I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yo, Brummy. How are we you got, doing? We've got Barker on a line. We've got uh, Stu as well for the first time on the on the uh, stream as well. On the farm, I should say. Uh, there's a bit of a glitch. That's why for the snow's flickering at the moment. Because we're, it's been snowing. So I'm trying to stay in the cab as much as possible. Until we hit over to the next season and get rid of this snow. Uh, but we've just uh, harvested some cotton. Uh, we're about to go and sell it all, and it's going to bring in some big cash, uh, which is what we like. I'll bring that. I'll go pick that up in a minute. I'm just going to prep this field for plowing by doing these ends so the AI doesn't get affected. But uh, I think we're about to sell, or oh, Stu's about to sell some wool, so we're waiting to see the dollars pop up for that. <laughs> You know, there's a over where I am, Barker. There's a pallet of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a pallet. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, there's a pallet here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's difficult. It's just so quick. Producing them so quick. Maybe when I was doing it, it flicked over there. Oh, that was a big glitch. Oh, and there's one there. I'm about to run over. We're just doing these ends of the field so the AI won't get glitched. It'll still get glitched, but... Give it a helping hand. You close, Stu? You must be close now. Brummy says, hi, Barker. Hey, Brummy. My mid London brother. You're on the road still, Stu. Yep, now nah, I can see you going. You're slow going. It's hard up those hills, isn't it? It really slows down the tractors. <clears throat> yeah, that McCormick's not very fast anyway. The JCB is the best. The popping. But it doesn't matter. We'll, we need a large tractor. I think that will do all the pulling. Actually, it's better for me to harvest because it's flickering so much. Sorry, to stay in a tractor.
I'll come pick up the wool now. I'll just uh, get to the end of this field. So it's time to go sell our cotton. We're just in the middle of uh, cultivating, uh, subsoiling, ploughing the field. Uh, there is snowing, so there's a bit of a glitch at the moment. So I'm staying in the cab as much as I can. Stay there. Let's disconnect you. Okay, here he comes. Let's go get all the this cotton. I'm guessing I sell the same place, yeah, the spinnery for the cotton? Yeah. Jacket thinks we'll get 400,000, so let's see. Yeah, well, we should, shouldn't we? Right. We should, we should. About to find out. On my way. Nice. First job we'll do is buy a new tractor, so we've got three. Yeah, 100%. Well, especially when we go and do our fields now, we've got to, I suppose, we're going to have to plant, we're going to have to fertilize, then someone might do some, do some mowing. So, yeah. we've, we've got no, we've got no wool. Sorry, no, no grass. Yeah. Good if there's a tractor. Is there any tractors on special at the moment? Another JCB. Would be nice. Uh, 159,000. Um, don't know if that's the larger tractor. Fast track 8330. Let's have a look see if that's under the large truck. Oh, it's a bit of a track to get to this uh, spinnery, and I know that with the tractor that Stu's got, it'll be super slow too, because it's going up the hills. Yeah. Yeah, so the trucks are on offer on the discount store. Uh, yeah, bro JCB. Brummy, you, you should see more. the um, the cotton harvester. It looks awesome. Like, yeah, the little the trailer's cool how it loads the cotton, but uh, if you go back in stream and, and you saw us using the cotton harvester, how it unloads and pushes the bale of cotton out is so cool. I 
Is that all the wool sold? Oh, did he just sell did it? You? The money's gone up a bit. It went yeah. up by 50k. Yeah, no, it did go up. He's there now. Yeah, he sold it all. Awesome, Stu. Nice. Well done. You can go do the honey run now. Yeah, honey and eggs are loaded. So if you can lo drop the trailer where it was so we can continue loading wool on it, that'll be great, Stu. And then just go grab the honey and bring that down because I've got a few trips to do with the uh, cotton. Good day, Stu. How are you today? Oh no, he's still got more. He's still got more. Still got more? No, he's still got more. You can look at my stream now. You look at the stream. He's there. I'm, I'm there. Whoa, it's a bit weird. What's happened? It's glitched. Has it still got the straps on it? Uh, I can't. If you have a look at it, it's all in the air, so I can't really see. Jump out, Stu. I'll have a look. Yeah, it might be. Oh, well, yeah. It might be again because you're not the admin. I'll have to give you all those admin stuff later so you can just jump on and do it. Uh... Yeah, it's like it's like one one pair pallet on it. I said drive out of it and come back in it against you, see if it will sell the rest. So reverse back. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. Very interesting. Hmm. So is it some sales, Stu? Some must have sold, right? More bugs. Um, I'm gonna just move out of the way. I'm just gonna go and see if I can unload the cotton. You guys can jump back in the other one if you want Barker and you can give it a go. That bale really? only sold for 12,000. Really? Well, that might have been one of the smaller ones, though. Ah, uh, yeah. So I think it's okay. Let's, let's not stress yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that sold no problem. So, yeah. That's interesting that we're having trouble with... Uh, so, so we should be getting... Uh, so we should be getting around 90, I think it was 96,000 per bale, of a full bale. Ah. Yeah. Head back to the farm. Have you, have you, uh... Oh, now I'm caught. Uh, have you, have you loaded all the honey now? Barker? Yeah. Yeah. Two seconds, I'm just trying to stop this. I wonder if I can manually... It's a bit annoying, isn't it? God, this is not a very easy place to navigate. We're going to find a shortcut. Well, right. Tell you what, I'm going to leave this tractor up here. Because maybe once we've backed out, come back in, then we might be able to sell this. Yeah, so you're right. If we all get out of the here. screen, yeah, maybe. Oops, it daisies. All right, we're good.
Alright, so I'm bringing the tractor back to you, Stu. Uh, I tell you, if we can uh, get rid of all these uh, lamp posts, I'd uh, appreciate it. <laughs> and now that field's glitching too. Interesting. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, the The way the equipment works on the game, Brummy, is really awesome. Uh, they've put a lot of work. Well, on all obviously it happened in the original farming sims, but obviously originally they put a lot of work into all of that to make sure the realism was there. Don't jump in, Stu. Awesome. Right, uh, now, you sell this at the Le Femme Femmes Femmes shop, which is by um, Fields 7 and 8 on your map. Actually, if I go up to, I reckon, if I go here, I think I've got to allow Stu sell, sell placeables. You should be able to see there's nothing about that's about placeables nothing about actually selling mm, actual goods no i'm wondering if we glitched the game because maybe we stacked too many oh yeah cool yeah i'm sure when we get out and log in it'll fix itself up yeah all right so Stu knows where he's going he's going to be two beeps off he goes Cool, and I'm going to grab one of these full cotton ones, and uh... Yeah, these four are here, uh, full. And like I say, I can buy that JCB which is on offer at the moment. Yeah, That's nah. a large tractor, so it's larger than the one you're in, and yeah. plastic. Nah, grab it, for sure. I was wondering, see, it'll be interesting because I was driving, the speed of the, this tractor was really fast. Yeah, I can... Yeah. But see, it's not as fast now, the tractor, so yeah, definitely the weight of the other one was way more. Because it still shows on the tractor that it's 100%. Yeah. Uh, but I can feel it's a... Oh, maybe it's not. Got a... I can't... You can't get 12,000 off all that harvesting. That'll be... It's just not worth cotton. Doing cotton, if that's the case. No, um, I don't know if that was stew. Yeah, that would have been stew, so I don't know how much he had left. What percentage it was on when he dropped the bale. Uh, oh, but no, this... but my cotton was 12. 12k for that one I did. What, the one you just sold now? Yeah. Yeah, that was stew's, um, which I put there. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, the bale behind is the one that come out to my harvester, which was about 58%. Yeah, yeah. And the other 400. Yeah, yeah. That, but it's still very... I suppose cotton doesn't weigh much, does it? So. No. No, but stews cause, could have only been, I don't know, 10% if that. I don't know. Yeah. No problems, Brummy. Thanks for dropping by. And uh, yeah, go put those kids to bed. And uh, yeah, if you come back, you come back. But all good, mate. Thank you again for dropping in. Yeah, see you, Brummy. Have a good night, mate. I definitely want to. Um, when I come back, I'm going to skip one. Oh, I can't skip, so I've got to sell this cotton. Just because of the yeah. glitchy, the glitchy snow. It's like I'm in in the cab's okay, but when you go out of the cab, it's uh, terrible. Well, once you can buy this tractor, I'll hire another bale trailer, and we'll both take one. Yeah. Okay, it's all quicker. Because 
I think Jacket predicted about 89,000 per bale. Okay, there's a bale sitting there. Did you leave that bale there at the moment? Yeah, the one on the yeah. The salt pool. There's yeah, one on the floor, yeah. Yeah, it fell off the tree. Here we go. Here we go. Way. There it is, 81. Right, so we can now buy that. We can now buy it. That. Now have another JTB. Nice. Uh, at least I found a shortcut to get home a bit quicker. Off the hill. Yeah. Rather than taking the track. Oh gosh. Rather than taking the track uh, all around that the driveway to the uh, spinnery, I just jump off the side of the uh, hill. <laughs> and it didn't damage a tractor either. Now this big JCB doesn't have a uh, all-wheel drive or ah uh, yep the crabbing. All right, I'll check it out when we get there. Getting close. Yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait here for you. We'll see the comparison in size as well. This is bigger. <laughs> Are you all right, Stu? Fill stuff, not solid. Um, all right, just jump out your truck to let me. Wait, what, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just go in there and give him... There we go. Drive you to here, Stu. I think it's, it sells here. Try that. I've just given him all access, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. After the it should There we go, it's Sally. Oh, beautiful. But that could be, because I've just turned on everything for Stu. So, yeah, it's just Sally as well. So that, so the other ones might sell too. When we get up there, I'll try. Yeah. There we go. Nice, nice. Stu, run up to, um, since you've got that tractor, run up to the uh, spinnery again, grab that trailer and see if you can sell. The reason is because I've given you a whole lot of access. Uh, so, more access. I want to see if that's made a difference. That must be, because it must be the reason. Alright. And we'll meet you up there, Stu, because we're all coming up. Let's go. There's the new JCB. You go first because you're the uh, big brother. <laughs> Max speed, 45 miles an hour. Yeah, so you're probably going to be a bit faster than me. I think it's just sold. It's all gone. Oh, it's all sold? No, I think it means everything on this trailer is sold now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 what yeah. Gabby means is go back to the, the wall trailer. So go... That's okay. You can just bring... Because you're going to have to bring that trailer back anyway. So bring that trailer back yeah, and... Yeah. Uh, uh, Barker and I will be up there, so we'll try to sell it. Because it was glitching for us too, remember? We couldn't sell it either. But hopefully us... Yeah. It might be still somehow linked or attached to you. 
So when we, I've given you all that, all the access, hopefully, that'll now sell. Time for some more music's getting a bit slow for me, my liking. Don't know if this is going to be any better, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, it's so much faster. What's faster? The tractor. Just chasing it, yeah. So much quicker. Ooh, there we go, dropping. Here we go. Is it a full one though? Yep. Another 81. 81. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, close. It'll be close to that amount. That uh, not, I think he said it would be at max price 96,000 a bale, but I don't think it's quite max price. I think it said it can no. go to 44,400 or 4,500. I think it's at about 4,000 at the moment. We can't risk skipping another month because the price could be right down on it. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. This could... That was the smaller one that I just sold. Oh! It didn't sell. Whoa. It sold... That's weird. Sold some. But I'm going to bring it forward and drop it. Yeah. So it did $7,000 worth. Yeah, something's going on, hey. Uh... Okay, let you... Yeah, we've got a few glitches. Haven't changed any settings, so it should be good. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if me leaving, coming back in, will sort of like resynchronize everything. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, because it does sync, doesn't it? Yeah, try that. Good idea. Yeah. Have you just joined? We're having Wait. issues. Nah, yep, you're back, but uh, yeah. No, not no. working. Well, I suppose I'm just trying to think where I leave it. Yeah. Yeah, look, we're all here. Uh, <laughs> Stu, we're just trying to work out it's glitching as well. It's 
not uh, taking the cotton. Whee! Off the hill. I will leave. I'll give you another bale. See if yeah, I'll leave it. it in the car park. Oops. We definitely don't want to lose this bale. No, that's the issue. Isn't it? If we all back out and join again, will it? Will the bale disappear along with the uh, pallets of waltz? Do I don't think it's you. Sold it, but it hasn't. I think the only thing we've really got an option to do is to potentially restart the server. I can save it where we are now, but we're a bit yep. worried of what happens to the bales. But technically, it should be fine because we've. You know, the eggs don't disappear and the wool doesn't disappear, so. Oh. Uh, do you want me to go into a inter uh, bit of an intermission, be right back, and go restart the server? Yeah, you can do it. It'll only take like, a couple of minutes. It doesn't take long at all, yeah. Alright. So, everybody who is on the stream, not many of you at the moment, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to restart the server. So, I'll be back in a sec. Stu and that, you're going to probably get kicked, but just jump out, and it takes about a minute to pop back in. Yep. See you in
All right, guys, we are back. We had a bit of a glitch. We're going to see if it's fixed, uh, but it's not looking positive because our other trailer load of goods is still sitting there. So we're having trouble selling everything. Uh, it's not accepting anything we sell, so we're trying to work out why. Uh, but we're about to find out if this works. So, here we go. And this is a big test. No. Oh, but. So it's not working still, everybody. It's, uh... No. No. That is bizarre. <sighs> uh, okay, so... It's not selling anything at the moment. There's not a limit. It doesn't all have a limit. It can't have a limit. Let's try to... Think it's going. I'm just going to go drop this trailer and try to load the other trailer. See if that makes a difference. Otherwise, I'm just going to go unload all of our wool. Sorry, I'm coming fine. up with another bale now, so yeah. I'll give this a try. I'm just going to unload this, stop this trailer, and see if we can work it out. But uh, we look like we're glitcherooing everyone. Explain it. Let me unload this and go pick up the other trailer. See if I can sell that. There's no other place to sell this stuff, is there? No. Unless we buy another spinnery factory from the, uh, the yeah. construction menu. Okay. Has the snow stopped flickering? Nah, it's still flickering. That um, looks like just a glitch. I wondered if the save then. Yeah, a glitch with the save, not just pause. I think I've seen it do it before in terms of. Uh, just let me see what happens here. Let uh, me just take all these straps off. Actually, I'm not going to take the straps off until we're there. got that one pallet, you can go in there, even got that one pallet there, that um, it's not loading it, I don't know if we had the forklift, I mean, who's got the forklift, uh, Stu, have you got the forks on that still, or not? We just can't sell anything. 
Nah. This was what's all we know. Everybody who's watching, we're having a glitch with uh, the shops here. They're not taking any of the uh, goods. It took, at the, at the start, we've had a whole lot of cotton to unload. Uh, and we had some honey and, and things at other places and it sold fine. It took two cotton bales, but then it stopped taking cotton bales altogether. We're a bit uh, amused at what's going on. I'll give us a quick Google. See what's up. We can buy it. We can buy the spinnery. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. Dude, jump out. Drop the trailer there. And go pick up, there's a pallet uh, of wool. Go pick up the pallet and try to see if you can sell it just individually. Pick it up and drop it. Just so everybody knows, Stu's mic is not working, so you can hear us fine, you can type the chat back, and they can talk back to us, unfortunately. It's a very nice place though, we should buy this place, it's, it's awesome on this hill. How yeah. good does that look? That looks awesome. We can't sell, can we sell the... Um, cotton at the train station? No. no. Oh, the only place we can't sell it is here. Okay. Well, it's a buy. Alright, no, nah, still not doing it with the uh, pallet. Alright, do you want to just pick that up, Stu, and throw it on the uh, trailer, which I'm going to drop, or near the trailer anyway, out the way. Just move it out the way. I'm going to drop this trailer here. Regan, how you doing? Good to see you here, mate. How are you? We're in a bit of a pickle at the moment. We are having a bit of a glitch on this sim here. We are at a shop that, to the spinnery that takes all the wool and the cotton that we've done. It took a little bit at the start, but then it decided to glitch and not take anything. So we can't sell all of the goods that we've been hard at work uh, today is no longer wanting to be sold. Uh, so do we just want to just, we'll just drop the cotton here and we'll just go and do something else because it's not, it's, we know we, we won't lose the cotton because we've already tried that, we logged out, so it'll still be here. Yeah. We can even leave the trailers here. Maybe just leave the other cotton at the thing and go and do something else. I reckon that's what we do. Your, your one you can't because you're leasing it, so get rid of yours, Barker. Yeah. Two seconds. I'll yeah, just, just move it. Yeah, just drop it. Back up now. And uh, yeah. Stu, you can take that trailer back that you're loading up there. Cause just leave the other trailer because that's full. I, I wonder if we take that trailer. I reckon it's to do with that trailer because as you can see visually it's glitched. You know the other trailer? Yeah. Uh, what happens if we take that trailer try to sell it? Will it allow us to sell it with the stuff on there? Uh, that is a good point, I don't know. Well, I might pick it up. Let's go, I might pick up that trailer and I'm going to bring it down. And then even if, because hopefully it will drop the goods on the ground when we sell the trailer. Yeah. And then hopefully that's the glitch. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is causing the problem because what else is causing the restart of the server? Uh, Regan, yeah, man, hope you're good, mates. But uh, yeah, so that's great that you're doing great. And as I said, we've got a bit of a glitch. So yeah, let's all head back to, you guys head back to the farm. We'll move on to whatever we're gonna do next. I know we don't have the money, so we might not be able to do much. But uh, we can definitely go uh, subsoil to the 
uh, plow that last field. Yep. Just have to just read it up on Google. Yeah, oh, he's trying to Google it up. Good. You're trying to Google it up. I'm going to go see if I can sell this trailer. You can bring that uh, trailer back, Stu, and go park that trailer where the sheep are for the next uh, load. But it's very bizarre. Very bizarre. No, but the snow glitch has stopped as well. I don't know if that's a good sign. So it's glitching on the uh, road as well, but that's good. That's bad. That's a good sign. Alright, Gummy, I'm going to skip one more day. I just want to test something. Good idea. We didn't try that. Well, before I sell the trailer. I'll wait for you to do Ready? that. Yep, go for it. It's a good idea, we didn't even think of that. So, let me know. Well, reading up on Google, you reckon the spinnery can get full, but it doesn't tell you it's full, it just stops accepting the material. Ah. So, I just want to jump in and see if that makes a difference yeah that makes that does make a bit of sense oh there's a pallet right there oh stew's got it it's all right it's all good stew you go continue doing what you're doing and i'll just before i sell the trailer you can tell me what's happening right. no it's not selling not working? Oh. No. The only other thing I've read up on Google is if we buy our own spinnery and make clothes out of it. Yeah, it's a good idea, isn't it? Well, let me look. I think definitely there's a glitch with this trailer. We know that. Yeah. Yo, Sutton, how you doing, Sutton Cage? Uh, good to see you, mate. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to overcome a bug that we've come across in the game. So I'm selling this. And everything is still in the air, so it's definitely an issue. Yeah. I'm going to try to knock it over. Let me just have a look what happens when I knock it. See if it falls off. It's like a whole physics glitch. I wanted to fall over, so I wanted to. Yeah. God, even that—it's like it's solid. It's <laughs> solid. <laughs> uh... Right, monster trucks. Yeah. It's going. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's all right. I said. 
Nearly. So we've got, as you can see, everyone. I'm going to go and take it from the, get it from here. So as you can see, there's a glitch. You can see these things are just in the air. So we're trying to work out, is this our problem? Because the servers having issues. We have restarted the server, but uh, we're just trying to knock everything down so it actually physics works. That's hopefully going to work. Now. Yeah, looks like it. Got a little bit more to go. These two left in the air is all we've got left. Because everything else seems to be holding on. That's it. Alright. That is everything looking like it's doing what it should do. Fantastic, it's everything's good and you're good, Sutton, as well. Fantastic. All right, so awesome, Stu. Well done, good job. We're just uh, still trying to work out what's going on. So, we're gonna obviously have to buy another trailer. Oh, I uh, yeah, It's still not selling the bales oh, anyway. Oh, this is frustrating. Uh, all right, because so we don't have our next plan. Everybody was obviously we're going to use the money to do something on the fields. It was going to either buy fields, buy new equipment, and look what we could do. But without the selling uh, and the other, we've got a whole lot of cotton. Stu's giving it a wash. Go on, Stu, give the tractor a wash. Uh, without, uh, see, here's the cotton. And we have two bales of this cotton up at the spinnery. We can aff afford to buy the spinnery. So it could be an option. We'd have to find somewhere to put it. Um... Can you buy the one on the hill or you can't? You've got to just move it. That's a good point. Did we buy this one? You can buy it. You go up to that building, and I went and tried to buy it. It was 60,000. Buy production points for 60k. Do you want me to do it? Well, we may as well. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can sell it. I don't think you lose any money out of yeah. it. So if, yeah. you don't, if it doesn't work, we can sell it for 60k. Yeah, buy it. There you go, Stu, another one to clean. Alright, let's see if we can sell them now. Stu's doing the cleaning, he's cleaning the tractor. Nope, still not solid. Nice and shiny tractors, look at that. Now this is interesting. What? Because now I've brought the building, it tells yeah. you the incoming materials and the full, they're at max. So oh, it's at max? Is it, yeah. The wall is at 44,999 litres, which is max. The cotton's at 45,000 litres, max. There you go. So that's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah. But it, it doesn't tell you're in game though, does it? Unless you buy it, then it yeah, tells you that, it's that's full. That's silly. It's very silly. It doesn't tell you at all. So how about how about this? Stay up there. I'm going to skip ahead time, um, and hopefully, let's see if it goes down. Okay. Yep. We'll sleep a couple. We'll sleep two months. Are we are we leasing anything? Only one trailer, yeah. Uh, we're, I think we're leasing both cop trailers, but they aren't much. That's all right. All right, have a look at that now and see if it's dropped at all when it finally finishes. All right, has that changed? 
Yeah, wool's at 43,500 and cotton's at 43,500. Okay. And it's okay. made 611 litres of fabric for clothing. Ah, there you go. So we're, we're making that. So obviously now, you know, maybe it's better for us to own it because now we know we can track how much is in there. Yeah. There might be a cost of owning it, I don't know. Uh, now it's at 42,000. You gonna to try to sell? I thought you skipping time. I pressed yes twice. Yeah, it didn't skip. Oh, here it goes. It just took time. I suppose one of those bales is quite a lot of cotton, isn't it? I think it's 20,000 litres worth. Yeah, I think what we've probably got to do is just let it go down. Because you, I reckon you're going to have to skip through a whole year or so before it goes to zero. Yeah. Right, but where now? does the cotton come from? Not the cotton, the clothing. How do we get the clothing out? Oh! Well, there are answers. <laughs> uh, can you bring a trailer up? We've got a load of clothing on pallets here. <laughs> there you go, Stu. Stu, bring the trailer up to, back up to uh, Barker. Uh, tell you what. Trailer. Oh, okay. Stu's trailer. got to go. Stu's got to go. Sorry, you, you've got to oh, go. Alright, right, okay, Stu. No All worries. Good, Stu. No problems, mate. We'll work this out. But uh, thanks for your help on the farm. And everybody, big thank you out for Stu, uh, who jumped on the farm for the first time to help us out, uh, except for the last 20 minutes of glitching that we've been working out. It wasn't actually a glitch, it was the uh, spirit. Was... That's enough of that. Alright, Stu, have a good one, mate. And thank you very much. Oh, there's all the fabric. Awesome. Uh, you'll need the forks as well. Yeah, I'm bringing the, oh, the little New Holland up. Thanks, Stu, mate. Again, appreciate uh, your help. And uh, yeah, grab that mic because uh, looking forward to it. But we've all worked out something new today that uh, the spinnery was overloaded. And it doesn't tell you in any way unless you own it. Unless somebody yeah. can let us know there's another way of checking that out. Uh, have you tried to sell Cheers, the other Cheers, Stu. See you later, mate. Hey, you should be able to put some more cotton in there again, now. Try and now. No. I suppose we can just leave it there and we'll sell when it's ready, I guess. Just leave it there. Yeah. And I'll, come, I'll go and get the other cotton and bring it up. Then I'll bring one of these trailers back. Yeah, we need a new trailer now, don't we? Because we just sold the last one. We sold one, yeah. That's alright, we don't need to worry about that yet. We've got nothing to load on it. So now we're going to drop that at the tailor, I guess, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. More money. That's all right. So that's probably why it takes so long, because you've got to wait for them to make the fabric. Yeah. 
would have been nice for a bloody toll or so. I know, we spent 20 minutes trying to walk there, work that out. <laughs> That's all right. Doesn't look like we'll be planting anything today. We'll just get all this sorted, and that'll do the stream. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Stu's cleaned two of the tractors. We've bought a new tractor, so we've, we've progress, and we've got lots of money sitting there. We just haven't sold it. Yeah. Like you say, every twelve, 12 months, every February, just drop. A cotton bale into it, let it do its magic. Yeah, that's right, and then at least we'll know we'll have a trickle of cash coming in. Yeah. We'll have the wool as well. Yeah, that's true, I forgot about that. We've got all that wool. So, and it wasn't very expensive. It must be a cost though to keep that. Yeah. It must be a cost. I'm flying my tractor, yeah. I'm not doing too well down here, actually. Uh, yeah, uh, not flying the tractor today. But uh, I, unfortunately, one thing, I won't be doing a flight sim stream this week. Uh, uh, having a bit of a break. Just got this stream underway, and uh, because we were looking forward to seeing what we could do with the cotton, all we know is it could bring in a lot of money, but it's very slow because you the, uh, Spinnery only takes a certain amount, so that's another thing. Uh, that's another thing. Maybe we buy a second spinnery later on. Yeah. If it doesn't cost too much. I saw a mod uh, once. I don't know if you ever saw it. It was on like the older farming sim. There was a crop duster plane. It didn't really function very well, but apparently there was a mod that would go through the air and fertilize the fields. Oh right. No, I didn't see that. But it wasn't very fluid. It, like it didn't have flight dynamics. It pretty much you'd go up, down, and then you sort of just go over your field and it fertilised. It wasn't dynamic like an actual because there's no physics in yeah. the aircraft, so it didn't really have the realism. But <laughs> still have it. Nice. Where can we sell this fabric? Sorry? Where can we sell the fabric? Uh, yeah, let's have a look. There must be a... Fabric... Fabric, fabric, fabric. Here it is. Uh, the farmer shop, the same place. Ooh, 8,400. Whew. Nice. And that's the that's a low point. Eleven thousand six hundred is the high point. Yeah. But you can go sell it. Go nice. sell it now. We want the cash now, so go do it. Yeah. See what it's uh, see what it sells for. That's huge. Well we have five pallets of it. Oh, we've got six pallets of it. Well, it's just turned up as a well, unloaded that, three. Well, that's good. That's very good because that might allow that other one to sell at any time. I think this is the last. Yeah, there's no more cotton after this load. But a bit disappointed, everybody, that we couldn't celebrate the win on the stream together when we sell all this cotton but it's still good we still learnt something and we've still got a hell of, we've bought a we have had progress because we've bought the spinnery now 
So we're going to have to make sure, because we own a spinnery, that we always have a field of cotton, I think, going. Yeah. At least a field of, maybe this, yeah, one of the big ones so we can get at least one food. No! Oh no. The <laughs> traps are tipped up. My skid steer. <laughs> I've got three pallets on the end. I think it's a bit ready. I'm going to drop this trailer here. Yeah. We go other. Oh no, tip over. Don't tip over. Dog tip over. Well, it's not going to be peak season for oh. cotton now anyway, so we'll skip ahead of time. It's going to be the low point, so we probably don't want to sell the cotton right now. Fabric wall running, fabric cotton running, building storage wall is at 39,000, cotton's at 45,000, fabric's at 411. You know, we have to go load all that cotton up now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking forward to that. Well, I've just chucked all six pallets on this trailer here. I've got yeah, uh, well, I'm just fabric. about to unload the last cotton. Just, and then I'll bring a trailer away, because then we can just push these in. And I'll, then I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to push them out, because I don't know if we want to sell them at the low point, which they are now. Yeah. And, right, so fabric. Sort of so what we'll do is you, you sell the, um, I'll bring these two trailers back for the cotton, you sell that uh, and we'll see how much we get from that and then we'll probably end the stream. Yeah. And, uh, we'll, we'll take a couple of cuts it through the lab we'll end it. Yeah, yeah, we, we can still... You can still skip ahead time when we're off stream. Yeah. I'm just gonna go push out. Oh, you've still got to bring, pick up the uh, five loader. No, 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 no. Little tip trailer over. Perfect. The only thing is we won't be able to put the wool on here. I'll come from the other way. Okay, so... 
Okay, where is our equipment? Right, I'm here. So, let's see. What it goes for. I'm guessing they have a limit too. My guess. Oh, whoa, whoa. That's nice. Nice. That's awesome. Wow. Fabric 50k. <laughs> that was how many pallets? Five? Six. 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 And we've got another three loads of wool up, uh, cotton up there. I know two of them <laughs> are full ones. One of them's only a small one, but super nice. Now that's all the cotton. There's no more cotton on the farm, is there? We've got it all done. So I'm going no. to bring, I'm bringing these trailers back now. So it looks like we are going to be making a lot of money out of yeah. this wool and fabric. That's it. We've got enough to last us. Exactly. So. <laughs> All the wool scattered everywhere, that's a plus. Uh, we've had a bit of an accident here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the wool got in the way. When uh, we, had a, we had a glitch, well, we thought we had a glitch, but we found out the spinnery was full of uh, cotton and wool. Yeah, the cotton and wool. It was full, so we couldn't sell it. So then we had a glitch where on the trailer all these pallets were basically airborne. and they weren't touching, it was a bit of a glitch. You missed the fun jacket. Yeah. Uh, well, we had a big issue. We can't sell everything because there is a limit at the spinnery. Oops, there's a limit at the spinnery and we can only sell a certain amount it fills up and then you've got to wait for it to process it into fabric then you can put so we've only actually sold two cotton uh, but we've also bought a tractor uh, and we've just sold six pallets of fabric which gave us another 50k because we've actually bought the spinnery because we thought that would help by allowing us to process it quicker or something it wasn't the case, it just turns it into, so there's still a process, you can fill it. I'll show you when I get up the top. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, we just have to wait. So all the wool's not sold, it's actually scattered all the <laughs> all over the mechanic and the shop uh, sales yard. Uh, so we've got to stack all the wool, sorry, sell the wool. The honey was sold. So we've still got probably 200k plus to put through, but we already own a new tractor. Hundred and fifty thousand dollar tractor. Yep. So now we've got three tractors. I'm just uh, jumping back up to bring the other trailer back that we're leasing. Oh. But uh, yeah, so yeah, twenty minutes of stream was wasted on working that out. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just uh, finishing up now. All right. Okay. I've just uh, found something out. With the spinnery, you can yeah. where it says fabric, you can change from storing to selling to distributing. Ooh, well, three, we've got three lots in front. There you go. So if you come over here, there are batteries. Have a look. Yeah, have a look at that. So, ah, okay. So you can actually change, there's your recipes can change, oh that's pretty cool. And I'm guessing you can get probably get mods for recipes. How did you say you can change the storage? Go over to outgoing products, so yep. the fabric, and you, if uh, online it says uh. press X but it says change output mode. Yep, yep. So I don't know if selling will just sell it automatically. Selling, okay. Interesting. 
So it's obviously if you want to wait for higher prices. And what's distributing? Does that sell it to someone who makes clothes? That's probably what it does. Mm, don't know. We'll have to read up on that. We'll have to read up on that. All right, we'll keep it at storing at the moment. But that does mean that... See, that's going to fill up pretty quickly. That's the problem. And then yeah. that won't make any more fabric. What is it at at the moment? Still... But I don't, I don't think it'll do anything though. If this fills up, it'll just stop production, won't it? So it's not losing anything. No, it won't lose, but it means that we're not util, we're not using up our their wool in the storage. Sorry, the cotton and fabric yeah. in storage. The wool. Uh, which means that um, we can't sell even... these. I'm happy to leave yeah. it. We can do, we can play with it on stream. All good. Uh, I'm just going to bring this trailer back and then uh, we'll finish the stream up, everyone. Let's go do that. And we'll be back with lots of cash in the bank or our next plan. We'll discuss that and work out what we want to do. Uh, let's see what our next crop will be. So now we understand cotton and that. And we'll probably only utilize some of our fields for cotton from now on because we know it takes a while to sell it. Shortcut? Yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah, no, it's all good. It's not a cliff, it's just some grass. Off roading it, that's how you do it. So, Regan, you got a stream coming up, mate? Thanks for shouting out to hit that like button. Regan, you're a champ. Thank you so much. And off uh, stream, we'll uh, load all this uh, wool up as well. Everyone? <laughs> yeah, we'll... <Wool. laughs> Tidy that up, yeah. We'll uh, go sell that as well. But again, it's the spinner is full, so we can't actually do anything with it at the moment. Oh, cool, mate. Cool. Great stuff. <laughs> A nice mess. So you can look back on the stream and see us monster trucking over that. <laughs> I'm going to go park this one and I'm going to say my Cheerios and goodbyes in a moment. And Stu cleaned up the two old attractors. He did a bit of a clean up job of them with the old high pressure hose. Tonight at 8.30 streaming. Nice. Good stuff. The, the subsoiler I've left out there, so it's at the end of the big field. Yeah. So that still needs to be done, but at least most of that's done. So pretty much we're really we're ready for planting. Oh, that's not good. We're ready for planting, uh, basically. So. We'll need a new shed too. We will need a new shed. Farmer boss is already getting itchy fingers on the trigger to buy something new. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, yep. we are done. Thank you, Barker, uh, for uh, being on thank the you. farm today. And yep, thank you. Really enjoyed it. And thank you, Stu. And we all learnt something new. Even Barker, the farmer, learnt something new about the spinnery today. Yeah, we and we all did. It's definitely exactly. new for farming similar to twenty two, so 
we're still we're still learning. That's FS19, jacket. you could just sell them after another foot. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's good. I, I but I think it is a good a good a good tad of realism. So example, you'd have a yeah. shed. We know we can have a shed and we can just stack cotton after cotton in there and wool and then every now and then we go and make a big lump of money you know so and yeah. i think that's what we've probably got to do yeah. we've probably just got to have a storage yard for stuff like that so we can make sure we maximize yeah, our definitely. money um and then you know have a permanent trailer that just sits there and whenever we can have one load of uh, cotton drop off then that's a that's a hundred thousand dollars basically right there yeah, definitely, definitely. So that's awesome. So we'll look forward to you next time, uh, everyone. I am not streaming in the near week here, but uh, the weekend after I will be back. And uh, thanks all for joining. And uh, you can see where we take it with all the cash we should have by next stream. So thanks, everyone. And yeah, thank thanks, you. Stu. Big shout out to Stu for joining for the first time as well. And we might have Gaming Dad might be on the next one if he can practice during the week. That would be awesome. All if right. we can get five of us on here, that would be awesome. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you. I'm signing out. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Cheers, and, all. And, uh, yeah, jump out, support each other. Bye.